Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Discord. And if you've never heard of Discord, it's an all-in-one communication platform and it's free to use. So you could do text-based chats, you could do voice and video chats, and you could even share your screen. And you could create your own server, which is your digital world inside of Discord, and you could invite members to it there, or you could follow or join other servers that other people created and have communication within those platforms. So I'll show you everything about using Discord. It's available on a browser at discord.com. That's what I'm gonna show you. But it has a Windows and Mac applications that are identical to the browser. So all of those are gonna look the same. And then I'm making a separate video on the mobile version of it too, but the fundamentals are all the same. Now to get Discord, if you come to discord.com, you could actually go ahead and download the app. So I'm on a Mac, so it's gonna say download for Mac OS. If you're on Windows, it's gonna say download for Windows. And if you use your Android and iOS app, you could use it that way. Again, I'll make a separate mobile video. So instead of saying open Discord in a browser, I'm just gonna go ahead to the sign up option on the bottom of the page. So you'll come to the create an account page. That other way also brings you to the same place, but I'll just go ahead and create an account. Again, email, username, and password and continue. And here it's gonna ask me to create my own server. And you could also choose from these templates here. I'll show you this in a second. I'm just gonna press X here to show you the layout of the app. So when you look at Discord, on the very left side, these are where your servers are going to be. Inside of each server, these are where your channels are going to be. And inside of those channels, this is where your conversation is going to be. So three different separate columns. Think of server as the top layer, the way you would organize anything. So I could have my own server, someone else could have a server, a company could have a server, and channels is where you would organize that server into different topics. And it will make more sense when we create our own server. And inside of each channel, you could have different people there. So. That's basically the layout in three different columns. So we'll start with the very first one on the left and that's by adding a server. Now by clicking plus, you could join an existing server. That's if you know the code of the server or the link someone sent you. Or if you wanna create your own server, you could basically press this here. If you press join a server, this is the invite link that you'll have to type here and then press join. But in my case, I'll go ahead and create one. Then I'll show you how to follow other servers too. So you have multiple servers on the left side. Then you could go ahead and name your server here. You could upload a image icon. I'll go ahead and do that. So maybe a logo like this and you could basically make this your profile picture. I'll go ahead and rename the server and I'll press create. And if you wanted to invite someone server wide, this is your invite link here. And at the time I'm recording this, this one expires in one day. So you could set this to never expire and people will be able to use this other link to join your server anytime. I'm gonna press X out of here. And now as you could see on the very left side, we have our own server here. Now let me show you how to add another server, this time not our own. So we're not gonna press create or join one, but we're gonna look at some public servers. Some servers could be public and others could be private. I'll show you that as well, but let's press search and you'll see a bunch of servers here that you could join. So I'll go ahead and look up one for a game. And when you search for anything here, you could see the number of people that are online and the number of members each server has. So let's say I wanted to join this one, I'll click it. So now that I've looked up that server, I'm still not a member and I haven't joined the server yet. It says you are lurking, you have to join to start chatting. But the organization of this server is the same as the one I created. So you have your server on the very top and inside of that you have these hashtags. These are your different channels for different topics. I'll show you how to create these. And then you have your folders too. So you could organize these in these category folders and the channels are inside of each one. And as you jump into each individual channel, you'll see everything that has been talked about within the channel and within that topic. So it's a nice way to organize your server into different channels so everything is not taking place in one place. But I'm gonna go ahead and press join and now you're a member. Now I could go back to my own server and start creating my own channels. So those are your three options basically. Pressing plus, creating a server or joining one that you have an invite link to or pressing the search icon and just following any popular server or searching for one. So in my case, I'll just go ahead and click on this other one and I'll 
press join on top. Remember, you have to press join if you want to have a conversation. Otherwise, you could be just lurking and seeing what's in the server. At any time too, in any of these servers, you could go ahead and right click on the server and you have some options like leaving the server or muting the server too, if you want to do it that way, or if you have inactive servers here, these are some nice options to know about. Now let's go back to my own server so we could actually look at how to create channels, how to create these categories. You have two types of channels. You have your text-based channels and you have your voice-based channels. And you could have these folders have multiple different types of channels inside of each one. So by default, I got a general text-based channel and a general voice-based channel. This one, I'll have to give it access. So if I click it, it's going to ask me to get access to my video and to my microphone and to my screen if I want to. So those are the options that you see. So inside of the voice channel, that's where your video and your screen sharing options are available. So those are the four different things you could do. Text, voice video and screen share all available here on your channels. Let me go back to the text based channel. This is where we start. So here it says invite people to the server right now. I'm by myself, but I'm going to organize it before I invite anybody. So to create a new channel, all I have to do is under that folder. So you see this little arrow with that folder in this case, text channels, I'll press plus and you could see I could make a channel text or I can make a channel voice by just checking this on. And let's say this is going to be where Instagram how to's are going to take place and I'll press create channel and it's going to be a text based channel and you could see it, it put it right here. So I could jump into that channel and now I have a new channel there. Same thing with a voice based channel. I could go there and press the plus sign and create my own channel. Make sure voice is selected and give that channel a name and create it. Now I have that channel under the voice channels. Now, how do I invite people? Well, I just have to come to that channel and press this create invite and it will create this link for me. And I could set this link to never expire by default to expire in one day, which is a good security option. So people can just join this anytime, or you could press the settings icon here and set how long this is good for. So if you want it to just be good for like 30 minutes, you could set that and you could change the number of users. So if you just want to limit this to five people, for example, you could do that or you could just set no limit. So a whole lot of people could join the server, like some of the servers I showed you where hundreds of thousands of people were a member. Now within each channel, I have my messages here. So on a text based channel, for example, this one, I could go ahead and type out my message here and press enter and it will have my message here and it will fill out this page as we go. And besides text messages, just like the one you see here, I have some options here like adding GIFs and emojis where I could go ahead and add any number of things here as a message and press enter and other people that are joining this channel could do the same thing. And if I press the plus sign, it would actually give me access to actually upload different files like this onto here like images. So that's an option within the plus sign. And on the far right, this is going to show you who's online. So if you click this option over here, you're going to see all the members in this specific channel. Some of them are going to have different icons. Like I'm the server owner. I created the server. So I have this little icon next to my name, but you'll see this populate as you add more members here. And there's this little icon for it, the member list. If you want to hide that, you could always press that and then you'll get more space here. And the other option that's important to click on is your little icon here. If you click it, you could show your status as online. So if you want people to know that you're online, it usually shows your activity here too. If you're playing a game online, it's going to show that. So if you want that, that's okay. Leave it on online. That's by default. You could change it to idle, do not disturb and invisible as well. So those are your default options here. So if you want it to be idle and not respond to messages here, you could just go ahead and change your status. Let's jump into another server here that's more populated. When a channel has a lot of different members, you could see that the layout is a little bit different. So these are categorized by that permission for staff, for moderators, for volunteers, and just regular members here are also listed. So there's a lot more to look at here when you go to a bigger channel with a lot of members. And a lot of them in the settings too are assigned a different color. So they show up as a different color here on the side. So you can see the staff has its own color and members and moderators, they all have a different color. To create new roles, so different people could have different permissions. If you right click on your server here, you'll have an option here under server settings called roles. So if you click that, 
it basically brings you to this page and on the roles right now i only have everyone by default when you create a server you have the everyone option and everyone by default are going to have these types of permissions here so basically not much that they could do if they have the everyone role but if you press the plus sign and if you create a new role so this is the admin role that i want to create I could give it a different color. I'll make this one blue, for example. And if you scroll down, you could give them the different types of permissions here. So the admin is going to get this permission. And you could also go through all these different items here and then go ahead and save changes. So now when people join you, you could go ahead and right click their name here and then you could assign them a different role. Very useful. And when a channel has the permission to let other people invite, like any member could press invite, I could go ahead and press invite to server and invite other people to that specific server as well that is not my own server so i get this invite link that i could send to my friends to join me here in this channel and let's look at these voice connected options here again i just clicked my voice channel here and i made sure i give it access to my camera and my microphone so you have your video where you could turn on your video you could go ahead and share your screen if you wanted to so you could share your entire screen or an individual application here you could go ahead and unmute yourself. So if you press this, people could hear you inside of that voice channel. So that's one thing to check. And Defend basically mutes the channel so you can't hear anything. And you have your settings where you could go under app settings here for voice and video. Give it access to your microphone here. And these are some of the options that you have, which voice activity is a good one that's on by default. So when you talk, people could hear you. Or you could go ahead and push to talk, but I recommend just voice activity here. So every time you start talking, you don't have to press anything. You could go ahead and do a mic test and you could also change your input device. In my case, I'm using the Yeti stereo mic, which sounds exactly like what you hear, which is a lot better than my computer will pick up from internal microphone. So if you want to sound better, I recommend just getting this microphone. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And your output just could be your internal speaker here and you could play with your volumes and test your mic here. So I wanted to show you the voice and video settings. It tends to be one of the most commonly asked questions here inside of Discord. And to create these categories, basically all these channels are inside of these folders or categories. If you come up here again, and if you click this down arrow, again, you have some of the similar options that we've looked at before, like inviting people, but all your settings are over here. So if I wanted to create a category, which has this folder icon, which will host these channels inside of it, I could just press that and I could give it a name here. And if I want it to be a private category, this is where I would select that. I'll leave this as is and I'll press create and it created this category. And now I could press the plus sign and put a channel in here or I could go ahead and drag a channel and put it over here too. So I could organize all my channels here into these folder categories. And lastly, I'll show you the desktop version. Again, as you could see, it looks exactly like what you saw on the website. So you have your servers here on the left side. Everything I did on the desktop on discord.com also shows up over here. And if I had more people that are invited online, they would show up here on the right side. And that's the general overview of Discord. So you could create your own server. You could join a server someone gives you an invite link to, or you could press the search and join just about any server here. As you can see, there are many, many, many servers you could choose from in many interests. A lot of them related to gaming and different communities here that you could join. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.